Sunlight streaks through the kelp canopy on Australia's Great Southern Reef, an over 8,000 kilometer long temperate ecosystem that wraps around the country's southern coastline. It's a quiet and private world, far from its famous cousin to the north, the Great Barrier Reef. Just have immense diversity that we just don't find anywhere on Earth. 70 to 80% of species that we find on our reef here are unique to the Great Southern Reef. They're not found anywhere else. The giant kelp anchor this environment, building and nourishing an underwater forest. And it's all but disappeared in Tasmanian waters, an issue that has scientists concerned. In Tasmania, we've lost around 95% of our giant kelp forests over the last five decades, fairly and squarely because of climate change. In the capital city of Hobart, marine ecologist Scott Bennett sets out to the mouth of the steel gray dormant river, searching for a healthy canopy and a chance for the species to survive. We've had that strong selection pressure from marine heat waves and warming over the past five decades. So those 5% that remain have been through a lot already. And it's, it's our hope that the resilience in that remaining 5% that hold the key Back on shore, scientists are taking a closer look at the hardy survivors, hoping to unlock their secrets. So we're trying to understand through genomics what it is about those individuals that allows them to withstand these warmer temperatures. And then we will take those individuals and in the lab we will breed new kelp that carry that trait of thermal tolerance. At Australia's state science agency, the CSIRO, Anusia Willis and her team have identified the genetic markers that may make them more resilient to climate change. Through selective breeding, the scientists are able to maximize the effectiveness of that trait in the kelp that will eventually be introduced back into the ocean. But the sheer size of the Great Southern Reef makes it difficult to determine exactly where the strengthened kelp is most needed. We don't have a baseline and you cannot protect what you can't measure. So we can't put in place conservation programs until we have that baseline. Google Australia is now working alongside the CSIRO, the Nature Conservancy, the University of Tasmania, and the Great Southern Reef Foundation, tooling up the scientists with new tech. For this project, we're analyzing 7,000 square kilometers of satellite imagery, which just would have been incredibly difficult to do with traditional computers. Google's geospatial technology is creating the first ever map of Australia's giant kelp forest. Researchers will then use the company's AI tools to analyze the kelp that has survived. There is no natural regeneration anymore. Unless there's human intervention into the restoration, it will be lost. Augmenting that human intervention with AI gives these scientists a better chance of saving the giant kelp and with it, the Great Southern Reef. <laughs>